All right, welcome to another episode from The Chart Reader. So this is for sure a recent runner to say the least, okay? All of these are actually viewer request videos though. And I always say, look, I am so, so humble and grateful when I get requests. Like, I, it wasn't that long ago that no one was talking to me. Now I literally have like, I'm looking at the list. I've got eight of them that I'm gonna try to squeeze in over the next two videos, okay? Um, so we're gonna look at Grom, ICU and Viri. If I've got time, I'll squeeze in a fourth, but I at least want to talk about those three right now. Um, look, there is a lot going on right here, okay? And end of the day, as important as this day was, near 40% on a single day, monster, right? As important as this is, I really, really care about Monday's confirmation, okay? So we'll talk about a couple things. This volume jumps out at me, right? Obviously, the 50 did the job and kind of stopped the run, right? But um, a few things definitely popping out here. I see you looks interesting. I will actually for sure call it a juicy setup. I think I see you is looking really, really nice. So um, I am really glad that I got squeezed in before I started these. And then Viri, is Viri not done yet? I, I'm not gonna lie, I, I keep saying it. Viri probably would have been, and like, I'm not gonna lie, kind of in a lot of ways is, but like Viri was probably my biggest gain. I've actually made well over 100%. I've actually not averaged up as much as I would have loved to. Again, I was just a little scared of the ticker, I think. I don't know how else to say it, but uh, my goodness, Viri, geez. Um, all that said, look, what are we gonna do today? Same thing we always do, right? We're gonna take a look at the daily and the weekly to see how this thing is setting up short term. We have our five moving averages. There are no horizontal, I'm gonna, I actually have never done this one before, so I will draw some horizontal support and resistance lines. And then when we're done up here, we'll use the MACD, RSI, and volume as our lower indicators. Hey, really quickly, if you can please like this video, subscribe to the channel, share this thing with your friends. Look, comment good or bad. I'm not here to hate on your thoughts, all right? But anything you can do is super, super appreciated and really does help with the YouTube algorithms, okay? So look, let's get into it. And obviously the immediate is what matters, but look, I'm gonna zoom out. I wanna see what I'm looking at. Damn, interesting. Okay, and honestly, that was not a good damn, and Jesus. Okay, this stock, for lack of words, has only gone down, okay? There's obviously been a couple moments here, a couple moments here, a little bit here, a little bit here, where it goes up. Otherwise, from give or take day one in 2017, all the way till basically now, this thing only goes down, okay? And listen to me, all right? If there's only one thing you take away from the video, do not have $821, do not have $2,400 dreams on a 49 cent stock, all right? There are some really big numbers as I just kind of start clicking at the natural places I would probably draw a line. This is a 49 cent stock, okay? So just please keep that in mind, all right? Let's get into the let's get into the immediate, all right? And again, beautiful day. And what I love about the beautiful day, look, I'm going to start down here and you can see it in the box. This thing opens at 36 cents and actually does close all the way up here. That's a good day. Hopefully, a lot of you made some really good money on Grom, all right? I, I, I really, really hope that. I'll be honest, I don't have any money in this thing at all, okay? Um, what I noticed, especially really immediately, right? This thing has been well under the eight and the 20, okay? There was like a little bit of a moment right here. I think as I just go back, I mean, it's really, really been under the eight and the 20. That's as far as I really need to go for a long time, all right? Today smashes, or sorry, Friday, smashes over both. Does it actually get over the 50? What's the 50? Okay, it basically lands on it. We'll say no, but um, it smashes it, right? And basically there's two things I'm seeing. It's either gonna come back down to roughly, excuse me, 39, 40 cents, because it looks like that's gonna go up, looks like that's gonna go up. Maybe it comes down this low, maybe it comes to roughly 50% candle, which is around 42 cents, give or take. All right, I just don't really know. And look, let's talk about the volume. I can't believe it took me this long to do it. Okay, Thursday was 400, 
thousand shares all right wednesday was 140 okay we go from 140 to 400 under half a million all the way up to 12 and a half million i don't even know the multiple that was but that's a huge it's a 24x is basically what that is on volume all right do you really think and i don't know what the news was hey if there was news please let me know i legit am only looking at the charts right here right but the question really is what's volume going to look like on monday is it going to be like 6 million is it only going to be like 2 million is it actually going to fall back to normal around 1 million is it actually going to hold this like 11 million range, 10 million range, maybe even go a little higher? That would be good, right? So a pump and dump does this, one big spike up and down. And look, as I look, hey, okay, interesting. It's actually done some sort of something before where it's like actually had a few nice monster days, but then eventually it kind of comes down. Interesting. All right. Interesting, actually. Um, I don't care about after hours. I'm a little curious. Okay, roughly speaking, we're at that 50% candle I talked about. Look, I don't actually care about after hours, I'm telling you. And look, truth be told, if this breaks the 50 moving average, the next place it's going to go is basically right here. I think this is the next line I would draw. I'm going to take 50% candle of that. All right. And then from there, it's basically this right here. And then after that, Jesus, it's basically this. Yeah, look, I try to take 50% candle. It's a little high, but it actually hits the bottom of this. Looks like it hits the top of that, top of that. That's actually a really good line. Nice. Um, look, again, I am not talking about a dollar thirty just yet, because that's a long ways away from 50 cents. That's almost a a a 2x right yeah 50 cents and then add another 50 cents jesus um it's all about getting over the 50 moving average i have to delete some alerts i already know it i can't set in another alert i really wish i could but i would set an alert at 51 because even 51 is 62 is a nice 10 percent and for real if this breaks that's when things can get interesting but again i'm still not sure if we're going to come back here to like 46 even as low as like i said 40 342 which is roughly 50 percent candle or as low as 39 which is basically the 20 moving average right so um a couple downsides for sure but yeah if this thing breaks the 50 there's there's a lot of ways to go for sure and obviously after this there's a nasty gap fill that might actually run it all the way to the eight i'm mean, sorry the 200 moving average in purple but again I'm telling you not to think of 130, let alone four dollars, right? Like, it's an interesting, this an interesting stock for sure, but still a lot needs to happen. Okay, we've been over the eight before, all right. We've been over it right here, and it drops. We've been over it right here, and it drops. Clearly, we're over it right here on the weekly, all right. Um, this weekly actually lines up really well. You can see the horizontal hits right there. This is basically saying I want to go to 80 cents if this thing is real. That's a nice RSI. MACD is a little further from zero than I'd like, but that's not horrible. And that's some good week over week volume. So um, where are we compared to that? That's actually, that's, this is interesting. I would watch it. I, again, I would be wildly, wildly bullish above 50. Um, and, and, you know, honestly, if it doesn't happen on Monday, that doesn't mean it might not happen on Tuesday and Wednesday, right? I think this is definitely worth keeping an eye on. And I'll tell you, I will for sure. I spent a lot of time on this one, so I doubt I'm going to add, um, the other one, but let's look at ICU. ICU. This is interesting right here. All right. What are we looking at? We're, we're basically knocking on the door of red, 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 red. You can see we're like at this plateau literally, right? So break this 20 moving average, I think the safest place to come in, I'll set my alert actually at, at 62 cents. From 62, man, there's not a lot stopping it to going here, all right? What does the weekly look like? Yeah, I'll draw this right here. I think this is an important one to have. Damn, that's still, let's even just lower it a little bit. If I had to guess what it's gonna look like, it's gonna kind of come down to 106, but that's still most of it, right? Like I wasn't sure, that's, that's a high, that's a high, high, high 
target to have and i wasn't sure if there was like something a little close like I, this is an insignificant green i have i have no reason to put anything here so um damn all right i'm gonna say it again look volume is super super low all right yeah interesting this is not as shady as i expected it to be all right i was i was expecting it to look like this look like this this is starting to actually show some some more life than i was expecting on the one minute chart you can actually see it here volume is starting to this this is a little interesting i see you i see you i see you i do i do this is this is a this is a juicy setup I said it at the beginning and I'm gonna actually reiterate it as I say, it has to break the 20, all right? It has to break the 20, but a lot of reason to believe this thing actually might drop a 2X right here. Um, damn, I like this. This is a good 14% Friday candle too, right? It wasn't some like BS one where there was like a really big ass wick and then it drops. Like most of the day was there. What was the high of the day? 61, we close at 58. I like that, right? You see them in the boxes over there. High, 61, the close is the green number on top. You see it again right there. So um, I see you, baby. I see you, I see you, I really do. This is, this is a juicy setup, I like it. Dude, Veery, on, on, psh. You know, it's sad because I always talk about the power of the eight moving average and I didn't trust the power of the eight moving average on this stock. I'm telling you, I, I, psh, I'm not sure exactly where I got in. I don't know if I got in around the 68 or the 55. Honestly, I've already, I said in the beginning, I'm saying it proud. I'm just kind of saying it with like more regret than pride. Like I've made more than two X and I should have averaged up a number of times. And like none of the times I really did. And like, again, I can't like, again, I see the eight curving, right? But this thing has curved a few, like this thing has not lost the eight since April. Jesus, not, yeah, basically since April, we'll say since right here. Like, damn, you know what I mean? The power of the eight moving average. And again, that's the the, the MACD, like, I, like it just, it looked like it was gonna cool more and go down. It actually never even goes under that red line, right? This RSI, again, looked like it was gonna cool. It stayed under for a bit. It's kind of just like, I, I can't tell if Viri's done. And it's one of those things where like, I need to look at like some more indicators. Like I, I'm, I'm, um, I can't believe that this one might not be done and for real, the money line here is gonna be 172. Get over that candle right there, continue the up. And I mean, 172 makes you wanna to go to two and then two is gonna make you wanna to go to three and change, right? Like, Jesus. And again, yeah, there's no extra lines to draw. Like, Viri might not be done yet. And, and, and just the one thing to say, look, generally you go really far up from the eight moving average and you either horizontal stay till you're close or you kind of drop down you know we're we're a little bit far from the eight and i'm not sure if we're going to drop down or just kind of stay horizontal as a catch up or again for real maybe actually make a test to the 50 go up one more time to two right like I, I actually need a little bit more indicator to like give a good thing, but at the minimum, I can confidently say, get over 172, you might add another quarter to that. And, and there's actually not a lot of quarters right there. So it's a decent percentage right there. So um, I like this three. I've got a few more viewer requests I'm about to do, but um, there are some juicy setups here for sure. Um, appreciate your time. Hey, have a great one.